Welcome to Lecture Online. Here, in our example here, we have the integral of the sine square of x dx. And just like in the previous video, we're probably going to use these two identities, at least one of those two identities. Notice that the sine square of x can be written as 1 half times 1 minus the cosine of 2x. And when we do that, what that does is it changes an equation or a function that is to the second power into a function that's down to the first power, and that's a lot easier to integrate. So let's try that. Let's try that identity swap. We're going to now integrate. Instead of saying the sine square of x, we're going to now make it 1 half times 1 minus the cosine of 2x dx. Now notice we can take the 1 half outside the integral sign. This is equal to 1 half times the integral of, and we can separate that into, well, let's write it like this first. 1 minus the cosine of 2x times dx. And then we can separate this into two separate integrals. So this can be written as 1 half times the integral of 1 times dx minus the integral of the cosine of 2x times dx. Notice I left a little bit of room there because I realized that if I want to integrate the cosine of 2x, I need a 2dx here. So grabbing my other pen here, I need a 2dx, of course, if I multiply this times 2, I also have to divide it by 2 to compensate for that. So now I can go ahead and integrate the cosine of 2x. Continuing on, this is equal to 1 half times the integral of dx is x minus 1 half times the integral of the cosine of 2x times 2dx is equal to the sine of 2x. We can't forget the constant of integration. Now simplifying this, this is equal to 1 half times x minus 1 quarter times the sine of 2x plus a constant of integration, and that is the integral of the sine square of x dx. Again, notice that if we use the substitution there for the sine square of x into something, a function that is only to the first power, it makes it a whole lot easier to integrate, and that's how we do that. 